welcome to my short and sweet video of 10 actions that you can do inspired by Dementia Action Week. So number one is to become a dementia friend. If you don't already know the initiative, it's run by Alzheimer's Society, where you do about an hours-ish information session, or you can do it online through videos and, and like a little quiz kind of thing, where you can become a dementia friend. So what that means is that you learn a little bit more about what dementia is, um, and also then pledge an action of how you can help afterwards. So it helps give you a lot more empathy actually and far more understanding about what dementia or Alzheimer's might be. I know that when I did it, I learned loads more actually that I didn't necessarily know and that's with my father having Alzheimer's. So definitely, definitely check that out. Sign yourself up for an information session. Go with some friends, it's actually fun, you know, it's not, it's not anything dry um, and it's definitely worth doing. So action two I've got is volunteer. So not everybody necessarily has the time to do something like this, but what I've got in mind here is maybe reaching out to your local Alzheimer's Society office or small charities that you might have in the area. You might have a local dementia cafe. Um, if you have the time um, to be able to help these people and, and help with what they're doing, um, do it, basically. <laughs> you will get something back from it and they'll get something from it. Even if it's the Dementia Cafe and you go just sit and chat and have a cup of tea with some people, you know, that actually makes such a difference. Action three is to do with family and friends. So I think everybody will know somebody that has been affected by dementia in some way, and um, whether it's one of their loved ones um, or friends or family that have had it, or maybe yourself, um, but reach out to other people that you know have been affected. So especially if that person is a caregiver, reach out to them. If you can go around, sit and have a cup of tea, ask how they are, ask how who they're looking after is. It doesn't even matter if, you know, their loved one's in a nursing home. If you reach out to these people, um, you know, people need somebody to listen to them, to be there for them, to know that when they're tired, they can, you know, relax or have fun with somebody else. Um, if they're a caregiver with this person in the home, even more reason why you should go and check them out. You might be able to give them some kind of respite. Um, all of these things really, really make a difference. Next action I've got is kind of related. It's called the Herbert Protocol. So those family and friends that you've just reached out to, make sure they have this. So what it is, is it's run through the police and it is some forms that you basically fill out to do with um, your loved one who is living with dementia. And you write down you know, their name, their information, and where they might go. And what it is, is it's if they ever get lost. So I can tell you now from experience, when somebody goes missing with dementia, it is awful, one of the worst experiences you can do, <laughs> what can happen, you know, you don't know where they've gone, um, you need to find them to make sure that they're safe. So instead of panicking when the police come around, um, you have all this information there, you have a photo, and it just means that they've got a better chance of finding this person and bringing them home safely. So once you've reached out to those family and friends, make sure they've filled out these forms, have them to hand, because if it ever happens, um, they've, they've got that information there to be able to give and to hopefully make that process a little easier if it ever happens. Hopefully it doesn't. Just make sure they have the hair protocol <laughs> to hand. Um, next action is do a charity event. Classic, everybody loves a charity event, whether it's running, walking, cycling, rowing, shaving your beard, I don't know, whatever it might be. Um, take part in one or volunteer for one. <laughs> you won't catch me doing a run anytime soon. So what I did is I helped volunteer for the memory walk in London. Um, and that's just fun in and of itself, you know, all these events need volunteers. I was, you know, waving, celebrating with people as they go past and making sure they don't get lost um, and just helping out on the, on the day really. Um, that's just as much fun as probably taking part in the event. So definitely check that out as an action. Um, next action is to, you know, campaign or lobby or sign a petition. So the Alzheimer's, oh, Alzheimer's Society is really good at this. They put a lot of research into the care system, what people need right now, um, how we can help improve. And they do great work by going to government and, you know, pushing these things forward and pushing these in initiatives forward. If you can just sign your name up online, you know, um, verify it again through that email, that second check, you hear me, um, and put your name forward, that is an action that you can do, like, from your sofa, your bed, wherever, like, easiest thing you can do. 
go and sign a petition go check out what it's about see if you can do anything to like help push that forward and and the change that desperately needs to happen especially for social care nowadays don't even get me started um <laughs> next action might be to host your own event so you might do like a cupcake sale at work or you might do a quiz um i know it's either alzheimer's research uk or alzheimer's society that does like a little quiz pack that you can download um, or even host your own dementia friends information session at your house or with your friends you know reach out to somebody that's a champion or even the society um, and people like moi will come and do a session um, with you which i love to do anyway it's great fun um, so host your own event you know don't wait for somebody else to plan one for you do it yourself take that action um, <laughs> another one is to just talk about dementia alzheimer's um you know a perfect example of what's been in the news recently is dame barbara windsor and a lot of people have been talking about it you know at your at home over dinner or at the, the office chat to the person that's next to you and help lessen the stigma around these things the more we talk about it the more it's on people's radar it's such a serious issue um just talk about it yeah <laughs> um next action which links in with that nicely is share the orange so alzheimer's research uk have done a second video campaign on this um search hashtag share the orange and have a look at what other people have been doing and what it is is it's a video that really highlights why we need to raise money to find a cure um, for alzheimer's for dementia um, and the impacts that it has and it goes to say that when somebody has alzheimer's their brain shrinks um by the amount like the size of an orange um like the weight and size of an orange is what it shrinks from to just watch the video <laughs> i'm not doing a very good example here and um, but go watch that video go share it you know twitter facebook linkedin whatever it might be pinterest who knows but go watch the video go share it and you know talk about it again another action you can do which links into that one is donate some money so give some money to alzheimer's research uk alzheimer's society you know there's also plenty of other charities don't get me wrong um there's dementia uk for admiral nurses there's um young i want to say young dementia there's loads of different charities and even really local ones and um, that you could give a little bit of money to that would make such a difference so you know that five that you want to spend on a starbucks or how much they are nowadays um cliche and um, just give it to a charity um and it's worth it and that's one action that you can do um right here right now and i think i've done my list of 10 um, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did subscribe like this and um, leave me a comment because I want to know what action you're gonna do and if you've got this far on the video there's at least three different things three different actions that you can do so comment down below which one you're gonna do um, and watch this space um, for more videos from me thanks for watching